Australian knockout? Uh, it felt great, you know. Um, it's something we expected in the camp. Uh, we trained hard for it, so um, it was something I was definitely looking for the whole fight. So, uh, you know, it worked out well for us. Were you nervous going into the fight at all? Uh, absolutely. You know, every fight you're always nervous. I, I just tell myself it's more excitement than nerves, but... Um, yeah, I think I was a little bit extra nervous for this fight because, again, they made me wait so long before I could fight again after the last fight. And uh, I always fight better the more I fight. So if they give me a quick turnaround this time, I'll be more than happy. What was it like fighting in front of a crowd like that? Uh, it was unreal, you know, to, to fight here in Melbourne and uh, Etihad, Etihad Stadium. Was, it was phenomenal. So, um, you know, it was a dream come true for me. And I'm proud to represent Australia in such a big uh, worldwide sport, you know, and to do it here at this venue, in front of this crowd, you know, it's just amazing. You were pretty disappointed in Adelaide with your performance. We ran into you after the fight. You were pretty down and out about it. Do you see this as an opportunity to sort of show everybody that you're still in it and you're back and you still have a bright future in the division? Absolutely. You know, um, after the Adelaide fight, you know, like I said, my, my timing was off, my distance was off. So they're the first things I worked on as soon as I went back. Uh, I felt like my distance was good this time. My timing was good and uh, it showed in the fight. You obviously come from a very, very good camp in Jackson Winkle, Johns. What did you focus on in particular for this fight? What did you do to make sure that we saw the best of Carl Noak here in Melbourne? I uh, also come from the BMF ranch as well, so to throw that one in there. The guys, <laughs> Cowboy and the guys out there. But, uh, you know, I worked on my takedown defense. Um, everybody that I fight always wants to take me down. So uh, for me, it was a no brainer work on that takedown defense with Jafari Veneer and. Uh, make sure my takedown was, defense was, was on point and that's what I did and then once I got so confident in my takedown defense it allowed me to open up more on the striking which just made Mr. Winger John over the moon. Was the team something you worked on in training? Yeah it was something we worked on you know um, I had a lot of people in training with it and we really liked the way it was going so uh, you know when that opportunity opened up and I saw his liver there I, I strike you know and um, that's something we worked on. As a teammate of, of Polly Holmes, you, you've, you've trained with her, you've seen her train, are you confident she can pull off the upset this afternoon? Absolutely, you know, Holly's the ultimate professional and she trains her butt off. Um, she's a phenomenal athlete and, uh, you know, she has all the skills to beat Ronda. She's she's very good striker, she's been working so hard and everything else, you know, she, it's just, she, I think she's coming into her own now and I think we're going to see it tonight. Did you speak to her yesterday after the bit of altercation at the Wayne? It didn't rattle at all? No, not at all. You could see her at the way and she didn't even hardly move when Ronda got all up in her face and, and, you know, instigated that scuffle. But she was cool as a cucumber. Holly's been fighting for a long time in, in, in big shows, you know, so for her it was nothing. You mentioned you want to have a quick turnaround now after having a long layoff. Is there anyone in particular you want to fight next? No, I don't care who I fight. I never care who I fight. Just give me a name and I'll get in there and fight. In terms of time frames, obviously you had a long layoff uh, before your last fight in Adelaide. You've had a recently, you know, decent turnaround. Do you want to get in the cage as soon as possible? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, my partner's actually having a baby in April, so if I can get three in before then, get a good big <laughs> bit of money behind me for when the baby comes. So, uh, yeah, I don't mind. I'll fight as much as they want me to. So ideally, three fights before of April of 2016. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love three fights before then. Well, yeah.